solar storm warning, the sun ejects a 50,000 mile long CME, a canyon of hot plasma, and is predicted to lash our planet. And uh, according to space weather, it's not just the CME. We have the solar orbiter to buzz past Earth. We'll be able to see it flying by. The European Space Agency Solar Orbiter spacecraft is about to fly by our Earth for a gravity assist that will bend its orbit towards the sun. At the closest approach would be November 27 in two days at 4.30 UT. The probe will speed just 460 kilometers above the Atlantic Ocean. It's the riskiest maneuver of the entire mission as Solar Orbiter dips into the debris zone of Russia's recent satellite um, test, ASAT test, that blew up into 1,500 pieces on uh, November 11. Heavens Above has local flyby times for potential observers. The spacecraft will glow like a ninth magnitude star. And then we have the uh, Canyon of Fire on the Sun. Imagine a canyon 50,000 miles long with towering walls of red hot plasma. Yesterday, November 24th, there was one on the Sun and it formed when a filament of magnetism lifted off from the southern hemisphere. And we see this from the uh, SOHO images. The erupting filament split the Sun's atmosphere, carving out the canyon as it ascended and the glowing walls remain intact for more than six hours after this explosion. The debris from the blast formed the core of a CME, a coronal mass ejection, spotted by NASA Stereo A spacecraft and the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory SOHO. First look data suggests it might deliver a glancing blow to our Earth's magnetic field on November 28th. So we have to stay tuned for updates. And of course, there will be auroras in the northern and southern hemispheres. So this is, uh, of course, as we can understand, not good for um, satellites, uh, communications, technology that uh, we have because of the fact that it can disrupt them. I finally support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box. So space weather forecasters are braced for a cloud of hot plasma and magnetic field from the sun to lash our planet. The so-called coronal mass ejection, CME, was seen escaping the sun on Wednesday. It may deliver the glancing blow to our planet. CMEs, as we know, are large clouds of charged particles and magnetic field that stream from the sun's corona, the outermost layer of the star's atmosphere. And according to U.S. Space Weather Prediction Center, CMEs can reach the planet at speeds between 250 kilometers per second and 3,000 kilometers per second. Now, astronomers at Space Weather warned yesterday CME could reach the planet by Saturday. The warning comes after the large filament erupted from the sun's southern hemisphere. It's the, split, the filament split the sun's atmosphere wide open, releasing a cloud of debris into space, headed for us, of course. The website astronomer says, imagine a cannon 50,000 miles long with towering walls of red hot plasma. Yesterday, he said there was one on the sun. It formed when a filament of magnetism lifted off from the southern hemisphere. The erupting filament split the sun's atmosphere, carving out the canyon as it ascended, and the glowing walls remained intact for more than six hours after the explosion. The debris trailing from this blast was photographed by NASA's Stereo A spacecraft and the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory SOHO. And they said first look data suggests it might deliver a glancing blow to Earth's magnetic field on November 28th. When CME interacts with Earth's magnetosphere, the region of space dominated by Earth's magnetic field, they may induce a geomagnetic storm, a solar storm that is. Space Weather explained, a geomagnetic storm is a major disturbance of Earth's magnetosphere that occurs when there is a very efficient exchange of energy from the solar wind into the space environment surrounding our Earth. These storms result from variations in the solar wind 
that produces major changes in the currents, plasmas, and fields in Earth's magnetosphere. The strongest solar storms are typically associated with the arrival of a CME, and depending on the CME strength, scientists will rank the resulting storm on a scale of G1 being minor to G5 being extreme. At the lower end of the scale, minor storms can cause some disturbance to satellite operations, and also weak power grid fluctuations may occur. Weak storms can also create beautiful auroras in the northern and la southern latitudes. At the top of the scale, extreme storms can cause widespread voltage control problems and, of course, even power blackouts. Right now, space weather does not predict any noticeable geomagnetic unrest over the next three days. They forecast uh, uh, this morning reads G1 minor or greater geomagnetic storms are expected. No significant transient or recurring solar wind features are forecast. But they also told us to uh, stay tuned concerning this uh, CME coming at us. I'll leave links below for you for this from Space Weather and also from Express UK. Sebastian Ketley, please leave your comments. Thank you for your support.